Okay, I just wanted to post a really quick update. Um, I've been really busy lately. have not had a lot of time to experiment with this. Um, but what little time I have had, I've had a lot of fun. Definitely learned a lot with it. But I just wanted to uh, show one thing this morning. Quickly here. Um, just something I've tried. Some of the guys on overunity.com are talking about reversing uh, the top coil. And they were able to pull, uh, you know, some milliamps, 20, 30, 50 milliamps off without really slowing the rotor down. I decided to give that a try this morning, and uh, yeah, it works. So I just wanted to uh, document that for you all to see. And it's definitely something I'm going to continue to experiment with. So we'll let it, let the motor get up to speed here. Let me just show what I've got. Okay, here, we're going to be shorting out this coil right here. Now, the only thing I've done that's different than what I've done before is that I've uh, reversed those top wires. So this and I would have probably noticed that earlier on, as others would have. Let me just take these magnets off. Okay, I think the reason none of us ever really noticed any effect there is, I don't know if you can see this, but there's it's registering about half a volt, less than one milliamp. So this coil's putting out basically nothing. You know, less than one milliamp, no voltage. But let's uh, let's see what happens when I put these magnets on each side of it. So there's one of them. We're now at seven milliamps and climbing back up. Let me just put this one on here. Okay, look at that milliamp drive. When I just approach with this magnet. This coil, by the way, right now is dead short. It's in a dead short, but watch what happens as I approach with this magnet. 10, 12, 13, 20, 26, 30 plus milliamps. And it's just from adding these, uh, these two magnets here. So, uh, see here I shorted something out there accidentally yeah one of my driver coils all right so you can see here we're, at, we're already at 20 uh, 20 plus milliamps I'm not running this through a capacitor either and if I put a capacitor here I could uh, bring that up quite a bit but I just thought that was really interesting that just with the addition of the, these magnets, we could, could get you know some milliamps out of this coil. And I will show you the difference between. So here it is. Uh, you know, no load. There it is with a 30 milliamp load. There's a slight detectable uh, slowdown on the rotor, maybe, but it's very little. shorting them out there. So again, 30 milliamp draw or so. Very little effect on this uh, rotor. I have put lights here at this point, LEDs, all kinds of stuff, and the results are the same. So this is looking promising. I need to go ahead and uh, connect the rest of these coils up in a similar fashion. And uh, just see what that does. So that will be my next step. Let me uh, connect this back up here. So yeah, anyway, next step definitely to connect the rest of these coils up, get the uh, magnets, these outside magnets connected on there and see uh, what kind of uh, amp draw I can pull off this. Uh, anyway, just a quick update. Let's all keep uh, experimenting and building, uh, see where we get with this thing, guys.